Hello children. In my last video, I discussed with you chapter 5 of your English course book, Bird Watching. This is chapter 5, Bird Watching. And I explained you this chapter and today we will do the exercise of this chapter. But before that, as we do, uh, recap of the chapter. Children, the chapter's name is Bird Watching. In this chapter, we came to know that bird watching is one of the interesting hobbies. And this hobby was popularized by Dr. Salim Ali. He was also known as Birdman of India. Children, Dr. Salim Ali was very fond of birds. And he fought uh, very hard to save birds uh, from hunters who killed birds for their entertainment. Children, Dr. Salim Ali gave a lots of information about Indian birds that the tallest bird in India is a Saras crane and the smallest one is flower pecker. The largest bird of India is great bustard and uh, the common crow is one of the most intelligent bird. Children, we also came to know that a bird called tailor bird actually sew the leaves together with the thread of cobweb or a fine grass to make its nest and the humming sound produced by hummingbird is actually the sound of its flapping wings. Then we also came to know that birds use their beaks not only for eating but also for fighting and building their nests. And uh, finally, um, we were told that if you want to become a bird watcher, what we need, we need a pair of binoculars, a notebook, pencil, and uh, the most important thing is lots of patience. So with this, uh, this was the explanation of the chapter. Now children, we will do the exercise part of this chapter as I have to, uh, shown you in my previous video. This is the picture of Dr. Salim Ali. Then I showed you uh, some uh, pictures of birds, different kinds of birds. As you can see, this is common crow, this is tailor bird and this is also picture of tailor bird. Then this is hummingbird and now coming to the comprehension part of the chapter. Now, uh, first part is A. Complete the following using the words given in the box. Now, uh, children, here a box is given and words are written in that box. We have to complete this um, using the words from the box. So, let's do this. First one is Dr. Salim Ali is called the blank blank of India. Now, Dr. Salim Ali is called the bird man. We have to write bird man. Here it is written bird man. Dr. Salim Ali is called the bird man of India because he was extremely blank, blank birds. He was extremely fond of children. This is he was extremely fond of birds. He made blank blank a very interesting hobby he made what he made bird watching a very interesting hobby then he blank all over the world to study different types of bird so he traveled he traveled all over the world to study different types of birds next he spread his knowledge of blank and fought to save them from blank. Now, what he did? He spread his knowledge of knowledge of birds and fought to save them from hunters. You can be a bird watcher if you have a lot so a lot of patience. Okay, now let's revise. Dr. Salim Ali is called the bird man of India because he was extremely fond of birds. He made bird watching a very interesting hobby. He traveled all over the world to study different types of birds.
he spread his knowledge of birds and fought to save them from hunters you can be a bird watcher if you have a lot of patience now coming to the b part answer in one word now first one this is let's zoom in a bit now answer in one word first one the national bird of india children which is the national bird of india answer is peacock peacock p e a c o c k let me write it again wait a minute it's p e a c o c k peacock first one is peacock then the smallest bird in india the smallest bird in india is children flower pecker flower pecker is the smallest bird in india third one the person who popularized bird watching in india children who popularized bird watching in india it's dr salim ali answer is dr salim ali now number fourth this bird sews its nest which bird sews its nest it's tailor bird answer is tailor bird number 5 this bird makes a humming sound which bird makes a humming sound children the answer is humming bird so with this uh, we are over with this exercise peacock flower pecker dr salim ali tailor bird and humming bird now coming to the next part fun corner join the dots and color the picture now children what you have to do a picture of a bird is given and you have to it's incomplete so you have to join uh, you have to join the dots given and you have to complete this picture and then you have to color it you have to identify which bird is this and then you have to color it accordingly okay now coming to the next part that is grammar glee now children uh, this is related to articles children in your previous uh, class last year in last session you have studied about articles that is use of a an and the so let's revise uh, this that children we know that there are five uh, vowels in english alphabet that is a e i o u and rest of the letters are called consonant that is the rest of the 21 letters are consonant now children we use a the letter a before a singular noun that starts with consonant that begins with a consonant now singular noun means the noun should not be more than one it should be one singular noun and its spelling should start with any one consonant then we will use a before that word before that noun for example a book now the spelling of book is b double o k book b is consonant so we will put a before book a book then cap c a p cap the spelling of cap starts with c c is a consonant so we will put a before it a cap then a next example let's take pencil now spelling of pencil starts with p p e n c i l pencil children p is consonant so we will put a before pencil is it clear now when we use an children we use an before a singular noun whose spelling starts with a vowel the word whose spelling starts with vowel for example apple now the spelling of apple starts with a a p p l e and a is a vowel so we will write an apple a n an apple orange spelling of orange begins with o and o is a vowel so we will write an orange igloo the word igloo starts with i and i is vowel so we'll put an before it an igloo octopus spelling of octopus is o it starts with o so we will put an before octopus why because o is a vowel umbrella now spelling of umbrella starts with u and since u is a vowel we will write an 
an umbrella is it clear now when do we use the children we use the for the names of particular person place or thing so now the our next exercise is based on this let's do the next exercise complete the following paragraph using a an or the now let's see tweety was blank pretty bird now here the spelling of pretty starts with p and p is a consonant so we will write a pretty was sorry tweety was a pretty bird she had blank egg in her nest now blank egg egg spelling of egg starts with e e is a vowel so we will write an she had an egg in her nest one day blank egg hatched and out came a baby bird now here one day we will write the egg why we will write the egg because here we are talking about the particular egg the egg which belongs to tweety bird the egg which tweety had laid so here we are talking about particular egg so we will write the one day the egg hatched and out came a baby bird blank cat spotted blank tiny bird now here a cat a cat spelling of cat starts with c and c is a consonant so we will write a a cat spotted the tiny baby here we will write the tiny baby because we are talking about that particular tiny baby the one which came out of that egg so we will write the tiny baby a cat spotted the tiny baby slowly blank cat climbed up now here slowly now we will write the cat because we are talking about that particular cat which spotted the tiny baby so we will write the cat slowly the cat climbed up a tree spelling of tree starts with t t is a consonant so we will write a tree the cat climbed up a tree and sat on a branch why a branch because spelling of branch starts with b b is consonant and it's any branch so we'll write a branch it's not any particular branch so a branch slowly the cat climbed up a tree and sat on a branch close to the baby bird now again the baby bird because that we are talking about that particular baby bird so we will write the baby bird blank eagle who was flying overhead saw blank cat now an eagle why an eagle because spelling of eagle starts with e and e is a vowel so we'll write an eagle who was flying overhead saw the cat the cat because that particular cat so the cat and swooped down on it blank cat got scared now the cat because we are talking about that particular cat not any cat but that particular cat which spotted the tiny baby so the cat got scared and fell off the branch now here we will write the branch because we are talking about that particular branch on which the cat was sitting so it fell off the branch and okay now blank little baby baby bird was very hungry again the little baby bird was very hungry the little baby bird means that particular baby bird so we will write the little baby bird was very hungry tweety got a small mango why a small mango S spelling of small starts with s and s is consonant so we will write a small mango an orange why an orange because spelling of orange starts with o so and o is a vowel so we will write an orange and a swiggly worm for her baby swiggly uh, a swiggly worm because spelling of swiggly starts with s so it's a consonant we will write a now let's do this tweety was a let me rewrite again this a an 
द देन अ द देन द अ अ द एन द देन द अगेन द द देन अ एन अ आई होप दिस इज क्लियर चिल्ड्रन नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज दिस इज वर्ड बिल्डिंग समटाइम टू और मोर वर्ड्स आर ज्वाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ न्यू वर्ड एंड दोज वर्ड्स आर कॉल्ड कंपाउंड वर्ड टू वर्ड्स आर ज्वाइन टूगेदर एंड the word the new word is called compound word let's do the uh, exercise the first one is done for you post plus ma'am post is one word and ma'am is one word and together the word, new word is post ma'am in the same way the next part wind mill wind and mill together it will make wind mill w i n d m i l l wind mill next word is over plus coat over and coat we will join it and the new word will be overcoat o v e r c o a t overcoat next is t and spoon t plus spoon the new word will be teaspoon t spoon together we will write teaspoon next word is moonlight moon plus light moonlight then next one is water plus melon water plus melon becomes water melon water melon this is done now next is listen and say aloud now listen to your teacher read out the following words and repeat and repeat them first one is admission admission next mission then profession then session then decision permission tension expression let me read it admission admission mission profession okay then session this is decision permission tension expression okay now children as you have noticed all the words have shun sound shun admission mission profession session decision and then permission tension expression shun sound is coming now next uh, part is think and write now read the following words nation this one is nation action subtraction vacation again we are getting shun sound shun in both s i o n shun and t i o n shun both have same sound s i o n and t i o n both have shun sound now what we have to do think and write four words that end with shun we have to write four word that end with shun so let's do first one can be attention a t t e n t i o n attention next is ambition a m b i t i o n ambition then ration r a t i o n ration then function f u n c t i o n function children this i have given uh, just examples you can write any word of your own that ends with t i o n i have just given some examples now coming to the next part of the exercise and this is write five or six sentences on any bird you like you can draw or paste a picture of the bird in the given space now children in this box the box which is given you have to either paste the picture or you have to draw a picture of a bird that you like it can be any bird of your choice i'll i'll give you an example suppose i like parrot 
So I will uh, paste picture of parrot or I will draw picture of parrot and I will write few lines about it. I can write I like parrots. First line can be I like parrots. They are green in color. They have red beaks. The male parrots have red stripe around their neck. They make nest on huge trees. They eat cereals, seeds, fruits, etc. They can copy our speech. Uh, these are eight lines which I have written. But you can write any line of your choice and you can have any bird of your cho choice. So it's up to you. Uh, you have to do it yourself. With this, we come to the end of the exercise. Thank you.